What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today what I'm going to be giving you guys footage on is actually how I ran my PCV delete and my oil catch can system. So at the car guys, basically this is what we're going to have to do, right? So we want to delete these guys out of the plenum. So this is just a rubber cap that I had. So when we did the timing and everything, I just wanted to make sure that we weren't going to be leaking all over the car. Uh, so this is your PCV valve. You want to delete these. Just to the fact that um, the oil blow by and sometimes since these are so old they get stuck open and then it's just blowing oil into our plenum so that's an issue that we don't want so that's why we're deleting these so what i did is i went out i got some 5 8 heater hose so as you can see 5 8 heater hose only to the fact that um I tried to match up the hose with these nipples for the oil catch can and also the nipples coming off of the valve covers here, the intake valve covers. So I got my necessities. Basically what you're going to need for this kit is, uh, you know, you can use as many clamps as you want, but I only use six. I use one on here, one on here, one on your intake piping, another one on your intake piping, and then one for each here because these are pretty much pressed on and these aren't going anywhere these are two t's so you're also going to need two five eighths uh plastic t's so it's just a piece that runs from here like this and then this one the same way and then you guys are going to want uh, a one fourth npt plug um technically it is supposed to be bspt uh but it, those are kind of hard to come by so you can use this the only thing is is when you are screwing these in you want to be careful that you're not going to crack the molding on the plenum but i'll show you guys exactly what to do and then also you guys are going to need some red loctite so first step before anything is your valve covers so you have your, your pcv system runs off your exhaust valve cover on your driver's side um it's going to be kind of hard to see because we deleted them but um, you're gonna have two hoses, like two ports coming off, one off the back and then one off the side. The one off the back in our previous video is the one that we were pulling on and uh, we were pulling on it, pulling on it and it still had the bolt on and then we finally like got it off uh, the system. So that we deleted. So that was the port that we took, out, uh, that line we took off the back port. The side port here is the little line that runs from this port and then to the actual PCV valve. So what I'm talking about is this valve cover here. So this is the exhaust uh, valve cover for the driver's side. So this port here is the port that runs to the PCV valve. And then this port on the back here is the one that we ripped off on in the beginning episode where we were trying to, un uh, it still had the bolt in or whatnot, in that port. What you can do is there's a kit on uh, Concept C Performance where you can get two plugs. So you actually can take these out, both of them out, and then you can plug them up, freeze plug them up. So then you don't have to worry about these hanging out or lines or anything like that. My drift car still has these on there, but what we did is we plugged them up with these rubber caps like I showed you on the uh, PCV valve. So you could do that too if you wanted to. It totally depends on what you wanna do, um, but it's a, just a lot cleaner look if you do get the freeze plugs. It's just a little bit more time consuming to do it because you actually have to like kinda hammer them in, make sure you have RTV in and make sure they don't leak. So basically that's your first step because you're gonna to wanna to take your valve covers off and do all this work. So right now we don't need this because we, that's everything's deleted on this valve cover. So since, so since these lines are deleted now, it's pretty simple. All we're gonna do is remove that PCV valve. We're gonna put some red Loctite on this freeze plug and then we're gonna screw in the freeze plug onto this port of the plenum. So I already did it to this side. So if I can get you guys down and in there. So right there is that freeze plug that I got in. So all I did is red Loctite, used my uh, Allen key and screwed it in. Now, the one thing that I wanna warn you guys about this is to make sure when you're actually screwing it in, you don't wanna put it too tight. You do want it snug and you wanna make sure that that red Loctite is gonna sit at least on a few threads. But if you do it too tight, you will crack the molding on the plenum and that's just gonna cause a bigger leak. So just make sure it, it's, it's, very, it's, it's snug, it's not very tight, it's just a snug, nice fit and then you're good to go. So since I have that side done, I'm gonna work on this side and then once I work on this side, I'll show you guys my route. 
Okay guys, so this side's all done now. So the freeze plugs are both put in. Now this is how I run my lines. This one line here is gonna be on the in. So we're gonna go from the in and then we're gonna go to the out, okay? So the ins, what we're gonna do is you wanna run it from the intake valve covers. So I have a line running from here, 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 under, through this hole here, in front of the condenser, here, here, and then it's right here, this line. So this is my first in line off my driver's side intake valve cover. Then I have my second in line from my passenger side intake valve cover coming down and around through, basically through the same hole just on the opposite side. It comes down. I have it uh, zip tied here to the power steering line. It's gonna come up into here. So this T fitting now is in and in. So I wonder where this line's gonna go. It's gonna go to the in port on the oil catch can. Okay, so that's the in, super simple. Now the out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this line on the intake here, or the intake piping here. We're gonna run it down around, basically around the same exact route, coming down and around and in, and then to right here. So this is the first outline. The second outline is pretty simple, same exact thing. Intake piping, we're gonna run it through, around, down and through, zip tie it to the power steering line, here, here, teed up here. So now this is the out tee. And where's this line gonna go? To the out port on the oil catch can. So then once you do that, just make sure you put your clamps on. So I'm gonna clamp this down and this down, these two down. These are all in tight. And then I'm gonna clamp here, 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 and here. So if you guys remember from my carbon canister delete, there's two bolt holes right here. These two bolt holes are from the uh, tree that used to run to the carbon canister. So I use the OEM bolts um, on this. I got this on Amazon for like $25, this catch can. Uh, these two bolts are OEM, so you can literally just take them out and use them again. Uh, the only thing that on this bracket, what you'd have to do is a uh, step bit, like one step down to open up the hole so these bolts will fall, fit through, but it's good and it's sturdy. I actually like this position way better than my drift car one, so I'm switching my drift car one to this one. I might have to change my piping up a little bit, but I'm definitely moving mine to this side because it's out of the way, it's safe because I have the splash guard and everything, and it's pretty legit so I'm pumped about that but now everything is pretty much deleted from the PCV system uh, this has nothing to do with the PCV anymore my other car it still has like some plugs or some things plugged up like this so I have on the drift car I have the PCV valve plugged up I have this valve plugged up I have this valve plugged up and then I have this valve plugged up on the other side and then also the uh, other port that go would run a line from here to here on the uh, passenger side, I have that plugged up too. A lot of plugs in the drift car. Um, now I know how easy it is to get all this crap out, so I might just leave these two plugged, but uh, these two I'll actually just fully delete so I don't have to worry about uh, that, like the intake having a leak or anything, or the plenum having a leak or anything. But with that, Right now, um, I'm just gonna kinda go around and clean a little bit of stuff up. Uh, I know that my PTU, I relocated the PTU, um, but the only thing that I'm running into right now is that I need to kinda fix my wiring up a little bit. So, well, with that being said, I just wanna give you guys another like PCV delete. Um, I know that my first video was off a little bit just to the fact that I was at the track and I was still trying to drive. I paid a lot of money to be at the track and to get there and such, so um, that's why we did that. The second video was the actual full PCV delete, um, the cheap way and easy way. And then this way is the actual PCV delete with everything possibly deleted and plugged up. And this is like the proper way to go for everybody. But everybody has their own opinions and such. Um, going back to my oil catch can, I actually do have like an air filter that you could throw up top. But then there's arguments about like atmosphere and all that and if we should keep the system pressurized or whatnot so i am just running it like this robbie told me to run it like this so i'm just gonna run it like this it is a uh, baffled catch can so make sure you get a baffled catch can but uh that being said uh if you guys are running like the oem uh stuff like for the ac and such like that you just want to make sure that these lines are going to stay away from this fan here 
So um, I have everything zip tied pretty well. I might throw like another one like right here. But besides that, th these aren't going. These are pretty heavy duty uh, tubes here too. So, but yeah, it's it's pretty good. I'm I'm pumped. I'm pumped with how it came out and it looks good. And now I don't have to worry about any of uh, issues with the crankcase ventilation or uh, oil blow by or anything like that. And then one last thing, guys. So after all this PCV talk, um, the line that runs here, okay. It runs here from the IAC and it goes to the balance tube here. You can delete that module. So again, like I talked about in my previous video, that module actually controls your idle in cold startups. Um, it basically raises the idle until it gets to like warm temp and then it'll drop down to like your base idle. That you can delete by just pulling it off and just plugging this up. So you plug up this end of the uh, balance tube here and then you just plug up the back of the IAC right here. And that's it. Simple. Just two plugs, pull it off, bang. You can delete that off your car. So now being all cleaned up and after you guys have seen how to delete your PCV system, it should be pretty simple for here. This is pr my most precise video that I've had for you guys. It's going to make it super simple and it should save you guys a lot of time to actually do this delete. With that being said, we have a ton of footage coming up for you guys still. We're going to go over timing, base idle, everything like that. So stay tuned. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button up here. And if you guys want to see any additional footage, click one of these videos. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.